Jeff, you communicate so well through your music, and I know one of your callings is really to have people, just to help them not make the mistakes that you've made. What are a couple of life lessons that you've learned that God's taught you that you'd really like to pass on to other people? It's funny you mention that because uh, after many years in Nashville, uh, my friends uh, Kelly Loveless and Brad Paisley, who co-wrote in a book together uh, titled, If You've Got a Dream, I've Got a Plan. And they asked me to write a chapter in this book. And my chapter was called uh, Swim with the Sharks. Mm. And it was basically, the book is about what to do uh, and not to do when you're trying to make it in Nashville. My chapter was definitely of what not to do. <laughs> I could speak uh, volumes on that. And so I was uh, given the opportunity to write a chapter on this. And uh, I thought about um, the, the title of that book, If You've Got a Dream, I've Got a Plan. And I thought, man, that'd be a great title for a marriage book yeah. written by God. Yeah. Because I think so many of us, including me, I have a dream to one day uh, be married and have an incredible marriage. But um, God has a plan for us to how to go about that. And I guess my, uh, my, I guess first and foremost, best advice that I could give to others and myself is when you're looking for that mate, is to find somebody uh, who, as the word says, is equally yoked to you. And for me, that's somebody who understands uh, God's grace and to know, and for us to both know and understand that we are both sinners saved by grace and we're going to fail each other, but life is a journey of forgiveness, and, uh, and uh, that's the kind of person uh, I'm looking for. Somebody that really, in their beliefs and their values, yes. the importance of God in their life is, is foremost. Yes, Someone absolutely. Someone you can live with. Yes. Another life lesson? I made so many mistakes in uh, how to go about it the wrong way in Nashville, and I, and I did as well in uh, my marriage, uh, dating and marriage. And so another life lesson is uh, the next time around, you know, again, it's just trust God and to take my time and to be patient and to live in the present uh, and to and truly get to know somebody else as God wants me to get to know them in His timing. We've talked a little bit in another segment about, um, about divorce and, and exes. Um, do you pray for your ex? I, I do. It's very hard. But that's, I, I, that's one of the coolest things to me about Christianity. It's one thing that sets Christianity apart is that we are told to pray for our enemies. And I do not want to um, insinuate that my ex is my enemy. She isn't by any means. But it's hard many times to pray for her. But what I've found and what I've learned is that when we are going through battles and tough times uh, about, may, oh, about our kids, uh, when I pray for her, God supernaturally, all, it never fails. He always intervenes and things change. And it, it's always hard getting to that place. But when I, when I literally do pray for, for my ex, uh, it makes a difference.